Now let us consider a simple situation. The, we will calculate the transfer matrix for a rectangular barrier and a piecewise potential. Why do we consider this kind of a potential a rectangular barrier? Because we know how to solve for a rectangular barrier. So let us first have some more insight into the transfer matrix and the tunneling problem using a known potential. Then we will go for the periodic potential that uh, we have in a solid. So we will uh, discuss and apply the concepts that we have discussed so far in case of a rectangular barrier. What kind of a rectangular barrier do we consider? The potential is 0 at the left, it is V0 within this re barrier region and 0 at the right again. We have uh, AL amplitude coming from the left, AR moving to the right amplitude and B L amplitude moving to the left in the left side, B R moving to the left in the right side. V naught is the potential here and if we consider this to be 0, this is the V x axis, the potential axis, this is 0 here, this coordinate is B. And if we name this part as left part, this is the intermediate part I and this is the right part R. If we name it this way, then in the whole x axis, we can distinguish three different regions L, I and R. The general solution of the Schrodinger equation. that can be given in the left side region psi L x as A L e power i q x plus B L e power minus i q x. This is an oscillatory solution. If we consider that the electron energy is less than V0, even then this is the left side. So here the, the potential is 0. If it is, if the energy is positive and less than V0, here it would be an oscillatory solution for the region x less than B. So this is L region. If we now consider the intermediate region, psi i x is given as a i e power beta x which is not an oscillatory solution provided v naught is more than the energy of the electron plus b i e power minus beta x. This is for the region x. 0 less than x less than b. Sorry, the first region was x less than 0. So, this is the intermediate i region and the last region, the right side region, psi r x equals a r e power i q x 
प्लस बी आर ई पावर माइनस आई क्यू एक्स वन से गेन एन ऑसोलेटरी सोल्यूशन फॉर द रीजन एक्स ग्रेटर देन बी विच इज आर रीजन we have this function q which is a function of the electron energy is given as twice m e over h cross square square root of this and we have the other quantity beta again a function of the electron energy is given as twice m v not minus e over h cross squared square root of this the standard boundary conditions of continuity of the wave function and its derivative we will have to have the wave function and its first order derivative continuous at x equals 0 if we consider that we will also need it to be continuous at x equals b so we will have from the boundary conditions al plus bl this would be equals a i plus b i at x equals 0. From the first order derivative at x equals 0, we can write a l i q minus b l i q equals a i beta minus b i beta this is also from x equals 0 we can express a i and b i in terms of a l and b l how do we do that we can write a matrix equation a i b i equals 1 over twice beta i q plus beta minus i q plus beta minus i q plus beta i q minus plus beta this is the matrix multiplied by the column vector a l and b l similarly if we consider the boundary condition at x equals b we can obtain that a r b r equals 1 over twice i q i q plus beta e power minus i q plus beta times b i q minus beta e power minus i q minus beta times b i q minus beta e power i q plus beta times b i q plus beta e power i q minus beta times
times b this is the matrix multiplied by a i b i this is what the boundary condition gives us and once we have this the direct multiplication of the transfer matrix matrices gives the transfer matrix for the rectangular barrier in the question so if we uh, do that we get s11 equals e power minus i q b cos hyperbolic beta b plus i q squared minus beta squared over twice q beta sin hyperbolic beta b s12 equals e power i q b minus i q squared plus beta squared over twice q beta sin hyperbolic beta b and we have s 2 2 equals s 1 1 star so we can find s 2 2 this way and s 2 1 equals s 1 2 star so we can obtain s 2 1 also this way so what did we do we have multiplied these two transfer matrices here one is this the other one is this to get these matrix elements for the full transfer matrix corresponding to this rectangular potential barrier. This is what we have done. Now, if we consider the barriers shifted by D, appropriate, appropriate phase factor has to be introduced in the transfer matrix. The transfer matrix of an arbitrary piecewise potential can be obtained by multiplying the component matrices in appropriate order. Now, if we consider S11 mod squared, we will get 1 plus Q squared plus beta squared square of this quantity over 4 q squared beta squared sine hyperbolic squared beta b and the transmission coefficient of the barrier that is given as capital T a function of energy is given as 1 over S11 mod squared which is nothing but one over one plus V naught squared over four E V naught minus E sine hyperbolic squared twice M V naught minus E B squared over H cross squared square root of this quantity by putting the value of every term that we have for 0 less than equals E less than equals V naught in this range of energy. This is the transmission coefficient. And now if we have the energy of the electron that is more than V naught, that means the energy of the electron is more than the barrier that we have considered here. In that kind of a situation, 
for e greater than v naught, we can similarly calculate the transmission coefficient. We will get it to be 1 over 1 plus v naught squared over 4 e E minus V naught, then sine squared, not a high, not a hyperbolic function anymore. It's an oscillatory function. Twice m E minus V naught this time times B squared over H cross squared square root of this quantity. This is for E greater than V naught. If we have E equals V naught, in this kind of a situation, we will have the transmission coefficient, which is a function of energy, which is now V naught, the energy equals 1 over 1 plus 1 fourth beta squared b squared. Let us put the beta equals beta naught here and we can write h cross squared beta naught squared over twice m equals V naught. This is the expression for the potential barrier when energy equals V naught and this would be the transmission coefficient y because E minus V naught this quantity here is going to 0 and sin square of 0 is will give us 0. Similarly, from this one we can find that this quantity is uh, going to 0. So, this term is not going to uh, contribute and we will get just this part.